Hi everyone, Keyless Entry here. Um, today I'm doing an entry into Mad Aussie Challenge uh, developed by Alex. And this is still week one and I'm doing the bonus round. So Alex wants us to build a functioning plug spinner that can spin both ways, um, that can rotate the core both ways out of everyday household materials. Um, so yeah guys, join in, uh, hashtag it, Mad Aussie Challenge, and then, then put bonus round, and then hopefully Alex can find that. Um, so yeah, this one's a bit, bit of a late entry, but I sort of went crazy with my idea and went too complex, so I went back to the KISS sort of um, ideology, keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> Because I was, was over-engineering and everything like that, and then I was like, oh my god, it's Tuesday already, and I'm on my fifth prototype, and I had a shell of a Dynavolt, and I had the spring in there and everything like that, I had actually two springs in there, and I was, <laughs> that's fun. Um, yeah, a bit too complicated. But, um, so then I went and tried the mousetrap one, and that just snapped on me. So I went to the garage, and, um, yeah, just started tinkering, and... Started off with something that I wanted to be the spinner, which well actually goes into the core, into the plug. So I've got this Allen key here. Uh, grab this Allen key here and just put a taper on it. As you can see that there. So just hand fold it on each side so it can fit into the keyway. So let's say this is the keyway here. This is a C4. So um, you can put it in the top. Or you can put it down the center wherever you like and this one goes in pretty far so um yeah I wanted to get as much grip in there or as much into the uh, plug as I could um, yeah as much meat as I could in there so all right let's go back down here so I filed that found this spring um, I thought okay well I don't have the other end like the mousetrap one so I thought I'll use this um, as a bit of a holder. Uh, this is just a plug holder for when you're loading up pins or anything like that. It used to be an oval. I think I got this from Butcher's Block. Um, he built this one for me. So it's just an oval like this one here with a cutout on the top here or on the bottom of this one and a flattened top there, as you can see. So yeah, this basically just you can put in your plug there and load up your pins. And there you go. Um, so yeah, so, and that usually sits on my bench. So I'm going to use it like this sort of deal. So this has got quite a bit of torque to it as well. So it's quite powerful. Um, so it goes forwards and backwards. And I'm going to attach this Allen key, which does not leave me much room there, actually, as you can see. But um, so yeah, let's get a bit of tape. So I'm going to tape these, the end of the Allen key down to the long part of the spring. Get some tape I prepared earlier. <laughs> Alrighty, so and my hands are filthy because I've had a filthy, filthy day. And um, I'm not sure how to do this. I have tried this quickly, very, very quickly, just before making this video, and it did work, which uh, surprised me. And the spring is quite, quite powerful on this one. It's a little bit hard to control. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Get that in there nice and tight. And it is a bit dodgy. It is a bit of a quick thing. Uh, it took me about half an hour, 45 minutes to make it from scratch. Um... So as you can see, it's not really centered. The Allen key sort of uh, wiggles around a bit. Um, probably could have taped that up a bit better, but it is what it is. Um, and the lock. So we've got a six pin oval here with that sort of bidding. And I'm not going to pick it. Uh, instead, what I'm going to do is taking the tail piece off. I'm just going to get a folder in there. Going to dump the key. You see all the pins in there still, so um, I'm not going to put the core back in, but on an angle, so like it's opened. So there you go, so now it's in that sort of position. 
All right, next thing I'm going to do is chuck it into the boss. And if I turn it a little bit that way, so it's actually, so it's at the moment it's clockwise. I want it going anti-clockwise. So what I'll do here is load this spring up and Allen key into there. And I'm going to do it that way, yep. So I'll try to get everything on camera here, sort of. There's not much room here. I should have chopped this down a bit, but I didn't have the time. Um, yeah, cut, cutting it quite fine here. So what I'm gonna do is It's actually spun around. <laughs> it's, it's overspun. I'm using. It's hard to gauge this um, uh, spring. It's so so powerful. All right, let's go this way now. So I've done anti clock. Let's go. So we need to go this way now. Just gonna lift everything up the shoe line. Hopefully that'll cross. There we go. So now we need to go clockwise. Hopefully you can see that. Yep. Spin around a bit, so maybe I won't use that much force this time. So let's try using a little bit less force. Won't spin it as much. Yep, there you go. Spun. Out of the way now. So yes, uh, not the most ideal thing, but it's quite compact, and you can use it from everyday items. The only mod that I did was tapering that Allen key there. So yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. I'm quite impressed with that. So I'm, I'm going to try to do it again and I'll probably stuff it up now. I should have just left it there, but um, it's quite fun actually. So just got to watch your fingers because this spring does crank. There we go. That's better. So bet, better control that time. And we'll try to go the other way. Try not to go as much. Yep, now we've got to go that way. So there we go. Cool, so that works. Um, not the best. I do plan on making a better one because I think they are an awesome, awesome tool. They're basically used by locksmiths. So if you have a, a door jam, for example, on this side, and you can, or well, this side, you can only pick it because your tension only pick it a certain way, or well, the lock will only allow you to pick it a certain way. Then you can pick it to your preferred uh, side. If that doesn't open the lock, you use the plug spinner and you get it open that way. So yeah, that's basically how they work. So, and this one here. <laughs> hey, it's alright. <laughs> anyway guys, uh, that's it from me. Um, please join in into the Mad Aussie Challenge. Hashtag it. Uh, we're still in week one. I think it runs out tomorrow or Thursday. I, I think it might be Thursday. Um... Because the new new ones are get the new uh, week starts tomorrow, so I think Alex has, has extended this by a week, so it'll be due Thursday. Yeah. So anyway, um, if you have any questions, Alex is on Discord, so um, or you can leave it in the comments in here, and I'm sure Alex will get back to you. All right, guys, that's it for me, and um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.